Welcome back, everybody, to WWE Tough Enough again in the men's division. The following contest is a King of the Ring semi-final match. Making his way to the ring from Bismarck, North Dakota, weighing in at 215 pounds, Casey Walker. That's why we are match number one of round two in the semifinals of Tough Enough. Casey Walker defeating Carl Velasquez in round number one. As we now await his opponent, the winner of the second match. And that would be Landon Slater. And his opponent from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 248 pounds, Landon Slater. Landon Slater with a Dominating performance last week over er, Jacob Reese in round number one. That match could have gone either way in my opinion. But we'll have to see now again in round number two who's going to move on to the finals at NXT TakeOver New York. To become the new member or the newest winners of WWE Tough Enough. So here we go again, ladies and gentlemen, 15 minute time limit. And here we go, match one of round two, and Landon Slater out of the gate with a stiff chop. And Casey Walker with a clothesline, and Slater is not willing to give in with a pile driver to Casey Walker. And now Slater immediately into the cover on Walker, and Walker kicks out even before the count of one. And a flapjack there from Casey Walker. Repeated stomps to the chest of Slater. Walker looking for something there with a tolerant elbow tie up, and now Slater coming out of the gate with a Luthez press. And Casey looking for a DDT. To Landon Slater. Got a lot of height on that DDT. Might have been looking for a double leg takedown, but Slater able to counter it and into the ropes. Or this corner, rather, excuse me, of goes Walker. But Walker immediately out of the gate and headbutting the shoulder socket right there. As you saw on the left arm. And they get another chop. And now he's got the knee bar on Slater. And Slater able to fight out of it. And I believe Landon Slater may have a slight height advantage on Casey Walker, so it's a good strategy there from Walker. Now Slater into the cover on Walker to go to the finals. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the finals of Tough Enough will be taking place at NXT TakeOver New York for WrestleMania weekend. Slater, stiff, knife edge, chop. And a right cross over the top of the noggin of Slater, or excuse me, of Walker. 
And again, Slater into the cover, and only a one count from Walker. In case of a gut punch, flying elbow, and a kip up. Casey's got him up. Good combination there. Casey Hurricane Rana taking down Slater. And a side effect from Casey Walker. Now bring down the fist on a ground and pound attack. Now Walker climbing the top rope, knee drop. Now Slater, oh, another Luthes press there from Casey Walker to Landon Slater. And Slater is looking to get back into this match, but he's unable to do so at the moment. As Walker again looking to take advantage here. Middle rope neck breaker, or twist of fate rather. Again, one of these two men will move on to the finals of Tough Enough Side Effect and take over New York into the cover and Casey Walker is going to the finals for the men's division of Tough Enough at TakeOver New York. As we take a look at the replays here. A great effort from Landon Slater. Again, nothing to take away from either of these competitors, but Casey Walker is just in a league of his own. Phenomenal athlete. Kind of hard to tell where all these replays take place, but nonetheless, there's a the finish lasting moments, the side effect there from Casey Walker. Here again from a different angle. All across the shoulders and the back of the Here neck. Winner, Casey Walker. So Casey Walker is going to take over New York for the Tough Enough Finals. And we'll find out in mere moments who his opponent will be for TakeOver in our final match of round two here at WWE Tough Enough. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, final round or excuse me, final match of the second round here at Tough Enough. The following contest is a King of the Ring semi-final match. Making his way to the ring from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Weighing in at 213 pounds. Isaac Stone defeating Jacob Zink in the first round to get to this point here in the semi-finals of Tough Enough. Could we see Jacob Zank take on Casey Walker at TakeOver New York for the Tough Enough Finals? Or will it be this man? And Patrick from Paris, France. Weighing in at 248 pounds. Patrick Marceau, the French brawler, picked up a huge upset victory, if I may say so myself, against the leader. Making leader tap out to, I believe, the regal stretch in the first round. The final match of round number one. But can Marceau defeat Isaac Stone here to go to the finals 
to face Casey Walker at TakeOver. As this matchup now looks to get underway again, 15 minute time limit for each of our tournament matches. And here we go, out of the gate, belly to belly suplex from Isaac Stone, taking down Marcel. The clubbing low to the back of the neck from Isaac Stone. Isaac Stone is focused here tonight to get to the finals. Had a hell of a match again against Jacob Zink. He's going for this Fujiwara armbar, it looked like, but Marceau was well into the ropes. There's Marceau with a gut with a kick right to the gut. And then a standing suplex to Isaac Stone. No nonsense at all is Patrick Marceau getting down and dirty in the mud. Taking down Stone. Marceau with a sneaky uppercut there. And now just basking in the light, the limelight. Oh, Stone. Springboard spear through the middle rope. Great innovative offense. Now he's got him up for a gut buster. I think it would be a phenomenal match either way for either of these competitors to face Casey Walker at TakeOver. But let's not forget, we also have the women's side of Tough Enough. That we'll see the finals of that match also at TakeOver New York. Side rush and leg sweep there by Isaac Stone. Stone looking for a right cross there and are so able to counter it. And off the ropes, a backbreaker. Both these guys full of surprises in their offense. Into the cover now. First one of the match for Patrick Marceau. And Stone kicks out. And Stone immediately back up on his feet with a zigzag. To Patrick Marceau is now Stone takes the opportunity to get the fans behind him here at full sail. Now hung up on the ropes. Crushing the larynx right into the middle rope. Spinning back kick from Isaac Stone. But he's not looking to get the win here as he did in round one. Oh no. Marceau with the counter. Again another hard uppercut from Patrick Marceau. A right elbow to the face. Off the ropes, a right cross. Marcel slowing down the pace. Being slow and methodical. Marcel, another hard right cross, taking down Isaac Stone. He's easy going to the middle rope. Looking for a diving elbow, or di double axe handle. Diving double axe handle, say that five times fast. As Isaac Stone looks to get back in this match, Bulldog, out of the corner. Again, Stone looking to get back in this matchup. But Marcel just seeming to be one step ahead as now they're trading chops back and forth. Oh my goodness, a STO from out of nowhere catching Isaac Stone. There's now Marcel looking to put this match up away with a gut wrench, gut buster. Into the cover, we didn't see this last round, but it's gonna do the job to send Marceau into the finals of Tough Enough at TakeOver. As we take a look at the replays throughout this matchup, here was the first one. Where you got only a one count. There's that spinning back kick from Isaac Stone. 
which we saw be put to great use in round one. But Marcel able to counter in. Here was that gut wrench gut buster to seal the win for Patrick Marceau. So it'll be Casey Walker versus Patrick Marceau at NXT TakeOver New York. We'll see you in New York, WrestleMania weekend. Have a good night, everyone.